final day here in Scottsdale, Arizona uh, for the Barrett Jackson auction. We're not going to the auction today. We're going to a car show a little bit later today. I think it's called the Future Classic Car Show. But this morning, uh, it's a little bit early. It's super crisp, uh, very cold out. Really like it. But I thought I'd take a little bit of a walk, see if I can spot a Starbucks, and I think that's Kathy calling me. One more dip in the jacuzzi before I go. Mm -hmm. Amazing place. You know, if you make a little extra effort when you're in places like this, get up a little bit earlier than most, take advantage of some of the services that a lot of people don't. Not like massages or spa treatments, those are all cool, but some of the, the normal services that they have, like this amazing pool or the jacuzzi, but you do it at a time you know no one's gonna be here. I got this whole place to myself. Now, not only is that physically empowering, but it's spiritually empowering because I get a chance to think, I get a chance to enjoy this stuff without any, any interruption, and it primes you. It primes you for a really good day. So you get a chance to think clearly and to think about what you want to achieve for the day. I'm good to go. Scottsdale. Uh, we are at the Future Classic Car Show. I think that's what it's called. It's on the rooftop here. Not sure exactly where we are, but the views are spectacular. The sky is amazing. We're going to check out some cool cars today before we head back to LA. Uh, look at this view.
Uh, this is Benny. We are at the Future Classic Car Show. Is that what it is? Yeah, Future Classic Car Show. Wh which means it's future and classic cars? Yep. Okay, a little bit of both. You definitely have a future one, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. What year bet is this? It's a 2015. Okay, and it's it doesn't look normal. No, it's it's a little out there, you know? Yeah, yeah. So You've done a lot of stuff to it. You belong to the Corvette Club out here in Arizona. I'm, I'm the president of the Corvette Club here, Fast Class Corvette Club. Oh, we uh, started off with the doors. We wanted the doors. The car has beautiful lines, so we wanted to show those doors off. So, you know, we start making some hinges and, and mm -hmm. making them Lambo style. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but it opens two ways. It opens both ways. Right. It opens normal and it opens uh, like this. So like yeah. on everyday driving, which I drive this every day, yep. normal opening. You know, on weekends, mm -hmm. throw them up. Or, or you know, if you're if you want to be pimping, you know, or if you, you want to be pimping, yeah, yeah, you want to be regular, you gotta go to the store and buy stuff, then it's regular. <laughs> Yeah, the motor's been done up. It's got uh, cam, heads, mm -hmm. um, intake, um, headers, so it's all been bit up, built up. Pretty we much were, everything you can do. Everything you can do. We're running nitrous on it. Okay. Uh, two shot, two stages of nitrous, yeah. 200 per stage. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had to build the motor to be able to handle the power. Yeah. So, so what's the stock 15? The stock 15 ran at uh, 430 horsepower. Okay, and what's this? This is 1,020. Wow, so, that's a small difference. It's a small difference. That's epic, and that's without nitrous or with it? That's with the nitrous. Okay. Without the nitrous, you're on 700. Have you had a chance to blow it out? Uh, the we, we took it to track a few times, okay. so we good. had fun with it. We yeah, did have good fun job. with it. Awesome. Where can people go online to see, learn about the club? Uh, you go to www.fastglass.com. Fantastic, awesome, so, man. Thank, thank you very much, very thank, cool. Thank you. Uh, this is Hector, still at the Future Classic Car Show. A lot of cool stuff, right? Yeah, a lot of cool absolutely. stuff. It's neat to see the diversity, yeah. so many different things. Yep. And, and people bring in, you know, what I would term as a somewhat regular Corvette. Yeah. Although there's one up there that's got about a thousand horse, which is pretty cool. I think you'll appreciate it. Yeah. But you have a kind of classic. Yes. Yeah. Slightly. What Almost. year is this? Uh, 78. 78, and it's uh, it's not normal. No, no, not really. It's, uh, I think there's only three or four I know of that have uh, done what I've done. Twin, tur twin turbo? Yep. Yep. Uh, I got to show this to you guys because it's it's absolutely epic. So tell me about this. What? Why this car for you? Uh, I've always loved C3s. Uh, I always wanted a 69, but I couldn't afford a 69. So I got a 78, pretty reasonably priced, uh, and then as in what? Give it to me. Uh, like three, three or four grand, give or take. Right. Um, you put a little more of that into it, though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's got a $600 truck motor. <laughs> uh, it's got an $1,800 transmission. eBay turbos on it, and it's uh, it's a budget fun car. Absolutely. Uh, and have you had a dyno at all on it? Uh, not yet. I have a, a, a thousand horsepower clutch. I need to uh, do 500 miles of braking before I can dyno. Okay. It. If you so, if you were to guess, what you get? Uh, I'm power? shooting for about 600 horsepower, uh, which is pretty reasonable for a uh, uh, turbos this size. Yeah. They're pretty small. Yeah. And so, how much does the car weigh? About 32. Yeah. 32. Uh, before well, I started, a little thinking. bit less because not got no hood now. Yeah, well, it's got a lot less stuff than <laughs> when I weighed it last. So. Well, awesome job, man. Thank, Thank you. Great Great job, very cool, yeah, very cool.
guy that brought in a rather non-regular car, yes. by any means. Yeah, this is one of a kind. It's one of a kind. It's, I mean, you can hear this thing coming from like several floors. <laughs> Actually, we heard you from the top floor when you drove by on the street. Good. Yeah, pretty epic. <laughs> uh, this is a Jeep. What what year Jeep is this? It's a 1951 release Jeep. Okay. M38. Really wanted to teach myself how to weld, so decided to build a rat rod. Figured the looks of the weld wouldn't really matter, so. <laughs> It's right now looking for a donor car, yeah. found this trash Jeep, yeah. and then we put it on a 86 Suburban three-quarter ton chassis okay. and used the engine and rear end and everything out of the Suburban. You said the, the wood and the barbed wire is all from your ranch in, in, in South Dakota. South yeah. Dakota. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We actually cut a hole in the side of an old barn we have. Stole some of the wood. Poor barn. Cut down some old But it's for a good cause. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good cause. And then it's just been built to honor everybody who served. So. Yeah. So. And you mentioned that anybody you come across that has served will sign it. Yes. We That's keep awesome. Sharpies on us. And yeah. Just want everybody to sign it, either for themselves or in memory of somebody who served. Good for you, man. Good for you. It's built it to honor all our heroes. That's awesome. Yeah. Is there anywhere online that people can learn more about the cars that have it on its um, own Instagram page? It has its own Instagram, which is. Is honor rat underscore G. Fantastic, fantastic. Awesome, man. Great job. Yeah, thank Great you. Job. Okay. Once again, uh, Future Classic Cars hanging out with the master of Frank from Wrench Nation TV. We're going to do some more radio, right? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Thank you.